What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp practical modeling tutorial for you. So one of the things I really like about SketchUp is how you can use it in your day-to-day -day life to really kind of visualize things spatially. So this weekend I did that because I was looking at a toolbox for the back of my truck and I needed to visualize some different things. So I thought it could be kind of a fun video. No idea if there's going to be any interest in it or not, but I could at least walk you through what we did and then hopefully you'll find something useful in there. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is an exercise I did this weekend because I was looking at toolboxes for my truck and I wanted to make sure that the toolbox that I was buying was going to fit in the back of my truck. So I thought I'd kind of walk you through my thought process on this. I have no idea if this is going to be of any value to anyone, but it is something that I found really helpful. So the first thing I did is I went out and I measured the bed of my truck, right? So I measured the inside of my truck. I measured the height of the inside of my truck. And I also measured the overall length of the outside of the truck. And so to start off, let's model the inside of the bed. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at this inside measurement. This length is gonna be 64 and a half inches long, right? So let's start by drawing a line that's 64 and a half inches long. That'll give us the inside of our bed. So to do that, I just drew a line 64.5 inches. Right, that gives me the width of the inside of my bed. And I can go ahead and draw this down. Um, I think this has a 97.2 inch long bed. So I'm just gonna draw a line that's 97.2. And then I'm just gonna push pull this up by the depth of the bed, which is another measurement that I took. So I can see how this bed was 19 inches high from the bottom to the top. So I'm just gonna extrude this up 19 inches like this. So that gives me the inside dimension of my bed. And because we don't really want this to be a box, we want this to be a hollow shape, I'm just gonna erase out this edge right here. And you can see how that gives me a general truck bed shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and select this and reverse my faces just so the proper faces are showing outward. But then, let's take a look at what the outside looks like. And so I took a measurement of the overall width of the truck and I can see that it's 72 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna divide 72 by two. That gives me 36 inches. So I know on each side, this is gonna extend out 36 inches from the middle point, right? So I can just draw a line 36 inches this way and 36 inches this way. That gives me my overall width. And then I can just draw a line in here like this in order to fill this in. So what that does is that gives me an accurate representation of my truck bed. I can take the whole thing, I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm just gonna put it in a group. And if I wanted to, I could add some dimensions in here as well. So if you did do that, you'd probably wanna put them on a layer so you could easily turn them on and off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and not do that for right now. But now what we need to do is we need to model out the truck bed or the uh, truck box. And so to do that, we're gonna import an image that I downloaded off of their website. So I'm just gonna do a file, import, and I have an image in here for truck box, right? So I'm just gonna double click on it. And I'm just gonna click and bring this in. And you can see how this gives me a diagram of what this is going to look like. I don't really know if this is to scale or not, so we're not gonna worry about scaling the image as much as we're gonna worry about modeling out the actual box itself. So to do that, that's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna move this over and let's just start with the bottom. So to start with the bottom, that's gonna be this B dimension. So I'm just gonna draw a line that matches up with B, which is gonna be 62 inches, right? And now I need the depth of the box um, at least for the bottom, which is going to be 16 and a half inches. So I'm just gonna draw a line out. It's gonna be 16.5. And then we can close this in, right? So now we've drawn our base. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, it just seems like it's a little simpler to do. But now what we need to do is we need to extrude this base up by a length of C, which is gonna be 11 inches. So I'm just gonna use the push-pull tool. So tap the P key, single click, and extrude this up 11 inches, right? So what that does is that gives me the base of my toolbox. Well then, this whole thing moves out, right? So it moves outward. So to figure this out, we just do A minus B. So that gives us 10 inches, and then five inches of the overlap is on this side, and five inches of the overlap is on this side. So I'm just gonna draw a line out. It's gonna be five inches here, 
I'm gonna draw another line out. It's gonna be five inches here. But I also have a forward and back overhang, right? So we can do the E minus the F in order to get that. So we're just gonna do 19 minus 16 and a half. That gives us a length of two and a half overall, but we have to divide that by two. So that means that this is gonna go out 1.25 inches forward. And I'm just gonna take this line, use the move tool in copy mode and copy it along the back. And then this is gonna go out 1.25 inches that way. So then I can just draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner. And I'm gonna erase out my extra in here, just like this. And then I'm just gonna extrude this up by this distance, right? So in this case, it's gonna be D minus C. So I'm just gonna extrude this up three inches. So I'll just push pull it up by three. And you can just erase out this edge along the top, just like this. And so what that's done is that's give us, given us an accurate representation of the size of our truck box. And we could get more in depth on this, but what I was really trying to do is make sure that it's going to fit. So I'm just gonna take this whole thing I'm gonna make it a group, and then I'm just gonna move it across so that it aligns over here. And then I'm gonna take it and move it up so that the bottom of this truck box aligns with the edge right here. And then I can move it along this edge wherever I want, All right? But now, if we look at this, we can see that this is what the truck box is gonna look like inside of our bed. And one of the reasons this was important for me is because a lot of the time I haul like fence posts and other things like that, and they can get up to like six inches wide, right? So I'm gonna use the circle tool. So tap C, I'm gonna tap the left arrow key, and I'm just gonna draw a circle with a radius of three inches. And then I'm gonna move it up on the blue axis, maybe back down a little bit like this, And then let's say that this was going to be a, we'll call it an eight foot post, right? So I'm just gonna triple click on it to make it a component. We can just call this fence post test. And then I'm just gonna move this along here. And as you can see, I can tell just based on this measurement that I'm still gonna be able to fit a certain number of fence posts in here underneath this toolbox. So for me, the size of this toolbox is gonna to be just about perfect for what we're trying to do here. All right, so this is one of like a million little visualization exercises that I've done with SketchUp. No idea if you're gonna be interested in this or not, but I found it really useful just for wrapping my mind around the spatialness of how everything was gonna to fit together to make sure that I'd still have room for fence posts and all of that. If anyone is interested, I may be looking into like organizing that box. And so I might use this model because the dimensions are accurate in order to figure out different ways in order to organize that box. So I kind of like the practical real world World examples. I know it's kind of a simple model, but it's something I found helpful. But leave a comment below. L let me know if this style of video is something that you're interested in in the future. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.